I'll show you what I've done in this thing. I've got the sugar buzz on here. This is the Shark King sugar buzz, and now I put the bayou baits. This is actually a shrimp on the back. The way I've got it running is that tail's gonna sit there and flop. As it's going through the water, that tail's gonna sit there and flop like that. Let's see if I can't get strikes from it. First cast out with the sugar buzz. There it goes. There's a good one. There's a pretty good one. That's pretty good bass there now. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, that's two that's come off. I see that I'm going to have to put a trailer on this thing. Look at that toad. Hi right, guys, hope y'all doing all right today. I just want to show you real quick in this quick tip how to put on a trailer hook and why they're important. They're important because you see me miss fish. I had one decent fish there that probably went two, two and a half pound that I got to the bank but wasn't able to land it and score with it because it, it didn't get a good hook set because it short struck it. If you've never put a a trailer hook on a spinner bait or buzz bait or any kind of you know bait like that i'm just going to show you real quick how to do it um this is what it's going to look like when we're done just like that you got your little piece of rubber there and your hook um nothing to it it's actually very very simple I've got these little Eagle Claw trailer hooks. It comes with the tubing inside it, inside the pack there. So it makes it real easy uh, to, to put one on. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this piece of tubing and I'm gonna cut about a quarter of an inch, right at a quarter of an inch, about that much off. Let's say right about a quarter of an inch. So you're gonna have a piece about like that. And then you want to take and just slide it right onto the top, right over the eye, just like that. All right, now, what you want to do, I'm using this Sugar Buzz spinner bait, and I'm going to take it, and I'm going to just feed the eye right through down right down in that hook try to keep it here where you can see it slide it right down on it where it's just like that right there and you've got yourself a trailer hook so hopefully the next time i'm down there fishing i'm not going to miss another fish so this right here will help me from missing fish these will get these fish that are short striking that bait uh so that's going to help you catch a lot more fish by adding that little trailer hook on the end. And that, that little rubber piece right there keeps that, keeps that straight is what that's there for, okay? That's, that's the whole point of the little piece of tubing. Uh, you can use any kind of tubing. If you've got trailer hooks, you run out of tubing uh, with this that come with the trailer hooks or it's rotten. Just go, I think you can use like surgical tubings, anything like that will work 
But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. I hope you have a great day. And as always, please like this video. Subscribe to my channel. If you're a new viewer, I'd love to have you subscribe. Leave me a comment what you think about this quick tip down in the comment section below. And uh, y'all take care. Y'all have a good one.